Okay, so we're going to look at how Belbin teams work, team roles work in a certain situation. The situation we're going to look at is Game of Thrones, in particular Season 1. So if you haven't seen Season 1, obviously there's going to be spoilers here. Um, so go back, go watch Season 1, uh, that's your homework for this week. Come back and then we can uh, crack on with the uh, rest of this video. So when looking at the, once again, these are Belbin's roles. So we have the nine different roles with all their strengths and weaknesses, but as we said, as I say, sometimes it's easier just to focus on the, the core roles. So we've got the action role, the people role, and the cerebral roles. So there we go. So we're going to look at two different teams from Game of Thrones Season 1 and see how the roles worked in that particular instance. So we're going to look at comparing the House Lannister with the House Stark. So within people role, especially, remember this is just Season 1, for House Lannister, we have old Tyrion uh, Lannister there. He's he's there as the the nice guy from House Lannister, really holding his fort as the the person role. From the Starks, we have Arya, uh, Sansa there, and Caitlyn Stark. So these uh, ladies are all then holding down the people role of the House Starks. So they're really kind of gelling the team together, making the team a bit more of a nice place to be, and fulfilling different characteristics within that role. The action roles from season one of the Starks. We've got a good old-fashioned two-handed Jamie Lannister there with his longer hair. As the uh, seasons progress, his hair gets shorter. But he's there doing the action role for the House Lannisters. And then, once again, for the action role for the Starks, we can see there's the archetypal picture that we're all aware of with uh, Eddard Stark there. And then we have Rob Stark as well. So we can see there that um, House Stark is really stacking up now against the Lannisters. Now, in the cerebral role for the Lannisters, we have... Cersei Lannister. She was the brains, especially in season one, we didn't really know about uh, Tywin at this point, so she was the real brains behind what the Lannisters did and how they did it at this moment in time. Within the cerebral roles for Lannisters we have, <laughs> clearly not him, he knew nothing, so he's probably more of a people role, even if that, he was a bastard son, so he wasn't really uh, accepted by the family. And there we go, and this was the problem with House Stark, they had nobody doing the thinking. So even though they outnumbered the Lannisters two to one, because they hadn't didn't have the spread of the roles, this is why they may have all, or over half, of, most of them there, half of them, sorry, have died. Um, so this, even though once again you, we've overfilled it, it's that spread of roles that really helps look at. So this is how Belbin can really help focus how teams work. It isn't about numbers of teams, it's about that spread of the roles.